outside the, or just opposite the Iranian embassy in London today to protest on No Hijab Day. Um, we have a hijab day, so we have a no hijab day to counteract it. I have a couple of messages I'd like to give today. Uh, one of them is to the women of Britain, and another is to the women of Iran. And to the women of Britain, I want to tell you a story about a school in Birmingham that was exposed in the press yesterday as uh, making girls eat their dinner only after the boys have eaten. So the girls are not allowed to eat until the boys have eaten. And according to the Telegraph, there are texts in this school which encourage violence against women. Those are the words used by the Telegraph. Now, that's a criminal offence for a start, but we all know that absolutely nothing will be done about it. Now, we have schools in Britain where girls are told, this is a message to girls, it's to tell them they're inferior, if they're not allowed to eat before the boys, what does that tell them? What message will they take through life with them, that they are inferior? That's the idea, it's a brainwashing of girls. It's completely illegal and it's happening with impunity. Now, I want to know where Yvette Cooper is. I want to know where Stella Creasy is. In fact, I want to know where Theresa May is, because they, neither of them, Neither of the big two parties in Parliament will do anything about that. We know this because the current government is doing nothing about it and you know that the Labour government would be even worse. So we know that your daughter's future is a future where she lives in a country where women are second-class citizens, treated as second-class because the influence of Islam is growing and will continue to grow. Labour will do nothing. In fact, they'll make it worse. Tories will do nothing. In fact, they'll make it worse. There is no one in the House of Commons now who will say a word about this. So you have a choice now. You can get rid of who is in the House of Commons and you can change the future for your daughter because if you don't change it now, it's going to be very dark. So vote for your daughter. Vote for our party. Vote for Britain. To the women of Iran, I want to say this. And it's not just to the women of Iran, but to women living under Sharia states all over the world. Please do not make the mistake of thinking that the likes of Linda Sarsour and the fools that surround her. Linda Sarsour is a traitor and a jihadist. She's a traitor to her gender and she is pushing Sharia law in the West. She has managed to gather around her a group of fools, of lemmings that she is leading off a cliff. They pretend they represent women in, this, in the West and women in this country. They don't. Millions of us know what you suffer, know the real oppression that you face, and we know what Sharia law is. And we also know that Sharia law wears a uniform, and that uniform is a hijab. I want to say to the so-called feminists in this country and around the Western world that they have betrayed, in the worst possible way, betrayed every woman living under Sharia law in the world, betrayed them, stabbed them in the back, and put them in even greater danger. They should be thoroughly, thoroughly ashamed of themselves. And every feminist who dons a hijab, you are donning the uniform of the oppression of Muslim women. Women are killed, jailed, tortured all over the world for trying to take this thing off, and you are putting it on. Shame on each and every one of you. We will continue to fight. Women of Iran, women of Saudi, women who are oppressed under Sharia know that people in the West do know and we are decent and we stand with you. Do not believe the Western media who tells you that Linda Sarsour represents Western women. She does not. We are with you. We stand with you. We hope one day you will get to take off your hijab and be free women.